Hi, Lady Esther here. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about beauty, skincare, and deep thoughts. Today I'm going to be showing you some new Chantecaille makeup that I got. If you're interested in this today, please stick around. So I'm fighting a cold. I got a cold when I went away. Second day. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm going to show you. I got um, a couple more items for Chant Chantecaille. My first item from Chantecaille was a lip gloss because I, I just wanted to try out the brand. Um, then my second item was this Just Skin. So I'm going to be using this Just Skin. And I got the this Hummingbird Eye Quartet in Cool. And it's been out for a while. I think this is the spring collection. Originally I wasn't going to get it. And actually I'm not sure why I decided to get it. I thought normally I get the warms, but I decided to get the cool. So I'll show you the packaging. It's really beautiful. There's the back. Oops. It's, it acts like a mirror. And I'll open it up here for you. Comes with this little paper here. And there you go. Let's see. I'm going to turn it upside down here. See, that acts like a mirror too. You can see everything in the house. So there's that. I'm going to maybe do some swatches here. And then I got the, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if this is warm, I got the, it's the lipstick called Lip Cheek. It's a very sheer, we're going to just have to go with the flow here because I'm sick and somebody came home and it's noisy. This is real life, so we'll just have to go with it. So here is, um the lipstick case it's so pretty there's like a, a blue green and orange and I think a pink uh, metallic lipstick case and I think it's magnetic and here's the color this is the most neutral color I got it in the shade honeysuckle so I'll be doing that a little bit later so anyway, I prep my skin with skincare. <clears throat> Tried to make sure it was hydrated, and I'm just gonna apply this just skin here with my fingers. It's a tinted moisturizer. I just I just uploaded a tinted moisturizer video the last week. I know it's you know I have to go at my own pace. Um, it's so tempting when you see other people doing things to copy them, um, but, um, you know, I gotta do what works for me, I guess. So, this is one layer. This one is, I feel like you need to hydrate more for this just skin. It is a tinted moisturizer, but it's not as shiny. It is really like just skin. It's not as shiny as the Chanel CC, CC cream, which I really like that one. I'm going to put some on my eyelids. And Chloe, my dog, is getting a haircut right now. Okay, I'm going to just put more. I'm going to see well, what happens when I use more. Maybe I should just use more. I don't know. I think maybe I just don't use a lot of product. I mean, on some products I do. Apparently I use too much skincare. Um, so, feels like... And it feels like a 
Well, I guess it feels like a Monday because I didn't get to work yesterday. I mean, what I normally do. Because um, I've been sick and I don't, I don't feel that great. But <clears throat> the show must go on sometimes. But this is just a small, small portion of my day. Okay. So, let me get that. So, honestly, I don't think this needs to be powdered at all. You know, it's not full coverage. I just, I don't know. Maybe it would look better if I had full coverage, but I just don't like full coverage. So we'll just go with that. So I got my Just Skin on. And um, what am I going to do next? Okay, I'll do a little bit of contouring and stuff with this Laura Mercier palette. It's an older palette, this one. Um, what's it called? Trey's Chic Palette, Bronzer Bless Highlighter Illuminator. So I'm going to use the... Hmm, which one? I I like the peach one. I don't know if the peach goes with this eyeshadow though. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the peach. No, wait, I'm gonna do contour. I'm so scatterbrained. Okay, so I'm gonna do the contour here and then I'll do that highlight. So I'll do, I don't really need to contour. I'll just do a little bit. I don't think I really do. It's kind of just, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit unnecessary for me. It's just an extra step. Okay, so there we go. There's a little bit of that. I'm gonna do with the top highlight shade. Again, I was open my eye. So with the um, highlighter on there, I, I feel like it shows some of my skin texture. Yeah, I'm not gonna use any more. That's pretty, wow. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to wipe off my brush here and kind of blend a little bit more. Okay. It is what it is. So I did that. I'm going to add the, um, the coral color blush. Okay. So am I going a little bit faster? Maybe. Oops. No, I just got a hair stuck to my cheek here. Yeah, whatever this is. <clears throat> I feel like it's really picking up the texture and it, I don't like the way it's looking, but hey, we're going to go with that. I didn't think I used too much. I mean... But in, it, it looks a little dark to me in person. I'm going to try to blend it a little bit more. Okay. So we got my face and we got highlight, contour highlight blush. Now we are going to go in with these shadows. And it has this little paper in it. Ha tells you one, two, three, four. Now this talks about this is a little pamphlet that talks about the hummingbirds and how a portion of this product goes to a good cause for the hummingbirds. Um, oh, in case you're wondering, but maybe you already know this is cruelty free if you're interested in that i think i don't know if it's vegan anyway okay so i am gonna go just using this palette okay so i think this one could be the crease and this could be a highlight so I'm going to take, where is that brush? Um, this may be too big, but I'm going to just go with it. The Chikahoto GSN 10, and I'm going to take this and go in my crease with the 
uh, I guess that's number two. They don't name their colors. So, this is my first experience with Shantikai eyeshadow. Maybe I should add this into the tagline, but I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast. I don't really excel in applying makeup. It's fun, but... So, this is what we got so far. So I'm going to do that on the other eye. On my the mirror I'm looking in is dirty. Which makes it kind of annoying, because then you have to move to the part where you can see out of the mirror. Good. So, so far that's really lovely. I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that. So, I have this other brush. I do try to clean my brushes once a week, but... Um, I feel like they're stained. Mm. So now I'm using the um, Sonia G Crease Pro, and I'm going to use the the lightest pink shade, and I'm going to go on top here and see how that goes. I'm trying to because I feel sometimes sometimes I feel like I need to grab another color from a pal another palette, but I'm trying to stick to this palette here and just see how it looks just using the palette. So I think the the medium color was a sateen. This is more, um, looks like more of a shimmer. Let me add some more. So, so far, I'm liking it. It's looking good. Let me do the other side here. I'm just so congested. You know, real life is real life. It's... I guess that means it's out of your control. I'm learning a lot about control these days. I might put some, okay, so that's what we have so far. I put the lighter, the lightest pinky shade up there. I might put some on my eyelids. I'm not, because I'm like a little bit hesitant. Okay, let's just do it. I'm going to put some of this lightest pinky ch shade on my eyelids because these other colors, I guess I'm concerned that the other colors are super dark. So... There we go. I think I need to blend. I might come back to that. So I'm, I use this, um, the Blender Pro to blend my eyebrows are crazy. Nothing is ever quick with me. Okay. That's what we got so far. Looks good. Now, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go grab this other brush that goes lightly. Well, maybe I'll use the Builder 3. So I'm gonna use this darkest color with the Sonya G Builder 3 and go in the outer portion of my eye. Hmm. That wasn't as dark as I thought. Well, that's interesting. At least using the Sonya G Builder 3, the couple swipes I did, it 
is not as dark as I thought it was going to be, which for me is a good thing. Um, I think it's good if you can build something up gradually. So I'm patting on here on the outer portion of my eye. It kind of looks purpley. I'm going to have to swatch my arm so you can get an idea of what the colors look like. The other thing that I need to mention, and this is probably the second time, I think the Estee Lauder was the first, it was a limited edition palette. These um, Hummingbird palettes, uh, the warm and cool, they're limited edition. Um, but again, I didn't buy it because I'm a collector and because it's a limited edition. I bought it because I thought it was pretty. <laughs> okay, so I think it looks um, pretty nice and natural and soft. So I think I'm going to take some of this. Um, I'm going to use the Crease Pro, the smaller, it's smaller than this uh, G uh, Chikahota GSN 9 crease brush. And I'm going to use the dark, the color I was just using, the darkest color, and I'm going to put some in my crease. So using this crease pro, um, it did apply a little bit darker. And I, I guess I have to open up my mouth sometimes when I do eyeshadow on it. It's weird. I didn't really notice, didn't think that I, um, that I was sucked in by marketing and packaging, but I am. I just realized that, like, the packaging sucks me in. It does, I guess it doesn't do that to everybody, but they spend a lot of money on nice boxes and packagings and graphics and stuff. And for some of us, yes, it sure does entice us. So I'm going to get the Blender Pro and I'm going to blend a little bit. But it I don't really have to do a lot of blending because, I don't know, it's working pretty good. It's working better than I thought. I think, okay. So I think that looks good. I'm going to get my pencil brush here. I wonder if I should use a smaller one. Okay, I'm going to just use this one. It might be too big. Pencil Pro, Sonia G. I'm going in the dark, darkest color. And I'm using it underneath my eyes as eyeliner. And I'm just gonna blend it out, but, hmm, maybe I'll take some of the lightest shade and put it in the inner corner of my eye after I wipe off my brush here. Let's see how this works. Okay, maybe this is not the best um, for this because it's kind of thick. I got the eye smudge brush from Bobby Brown and I'm going to just use that dry to kind of blend underneath here. Huh. So that's what we got there. But I need to do some more touch-ups here. So 
Tony G Builder 3. Back with the dark color because I want to add a little bit more dark color and I'm going to bring it across my eye a little bit more and just kind of blend it. Just decided to do that. Blend a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, um, I don't know, it's a, it, if you turn it one way it kind of looks green. It's like a reflective, I'm not sure what you call that. Monochromatic maybe? So I'm putting it on top here and on the other side, wait, let me get more. It is. Oh wow, it's pretty. I don't, I've never had a monochromatic, wait, is it monochromatic? Duochrome, I think it's duochrome, because mono is one, right? Duochromatic. I've never had a duochromatic eyeshadow. Okay, I'm going a little bit crazy here. In honor of the hummingbirds, they're so pretty. I When I go for my walk, I see hummingbirds almost every day. So, there we go. My eyes are blurry, I can't really see. But, um, I like that. I think I just want to add some more to my brow bone. We'll go back with this brush here or no I'll use this one it's um in my new one BK Beauty 205 it's like this angled brush so I'm going to use the pink and go back on the top of the brow bone underneath the eye brow so the Sonia G brushes are um, natural hair goat hair brushes but the Bobbi Brown and the BK these are synthetic but I'm really liking this BK so there we go I think that looks good I don't think I need to, to do any more blending there maybe let's see let me go back here um, I'm gonna add a little bit more dark the darkest color again it's like a plum Oh, I'm just going to need more eyeliner. Okay, and then I need to blend that again. I was going to eyeline. We'll see. 25 minutes. I'm going to have to edit this. Oh, my alarm's going off. My dog is almost ready. Okay, so wait, I go back to the Bobbi Brown and I'm gonna blend. But you know what? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the camera from here and I'm just gonna do the mascara, eyebrows, and um, eyeliner off camera and I'll, then I'll come back. Hi, I'm back. So this is the final look. So what I did was I use my Clinique Natural Glossy Mascara in Jet Brown, Tom Ford Eyebrow Gel in Blonde, and I used, I tight lined the top of my um, waterline eyelid in Rouge Noir, uh, Stilo Ombre et Contour. Um, it's a, I don't know if it's, it's an eyeliner. It might be an eyeshadow and eyeliner. Uh, yeah eyeshadow eyeliner so I used that one because I thought it went really well with this palette so hope you like this look so I forgot to put my Chantecai lipstick on just 
so you can see it in action. I don't like lipstick, but this feels more like a lip balm. It's a very natural color. And it, it smells kind of like vanilla. So I'm not going to line my lips. Um, I started out with a base of the Clay de Poe Lip Glorifier because my lips were so chapped. So this is, this is the final look. What do you think? If you like this video, please click the like button. Click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Be sure and hit the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.